do is open up a photograph. I'm going to choose a portrait, one that I took recently. So whatever picture you're taking that you want to draw on, go ahead and grab that image. It's a very late night creepy photo of me that I took. <clears throat> and I'm going to start drawing on the image. Um, let's assume that I've already edited this image, okay? Um, I haven't, but let's assume I have. I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool. And let's talk about the properties here, things that I can do with this. First of all, to know what color I'm drawing in, you have these two dots. If you want a different dot, you tap it and you move the um, color picker and choose what you want. In this case, I'm going to choose white. Um, the size, if you tap that, you can go up or down and you see the size of your brush. I'm going to use a small brush because I want thin lines. And here I can change on the opacity of my paint. I want my paint fully opaque so I have that slid all the way up. And finally here is the hardness. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool. And before I paint, we are going to add a layer to this because I don't want to disturb the bottom image. So to add a layer, I choose plus and it's going to add a blank layer. That's going to be the layer I paint on. So now I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to, oh, I can select what kind of paintbrush I use. So tap that brush and you'll get a fly out menu. I'm going to choose the brush pen. The reason is, is because notice the edges of it they taper or get thinner on the edge. So that's my choice. I'm going to zoom in. I'm right there. Don't be scared. And I'm going to start just doing some outlines. Now you could do this with your finger, stylist, Apple Pencil, whatever you have, and just work some of the lines in there. If you press Harder, your line might get thicker depending on the preferences that you have set up for your brushes. If you want to change the size of your brush, remember you can always go right here where the numbers are and it, you can change the size. I think I was on 29. I'm going to go back because I like that size. Okay, so I'm adding my eyebrow hair. My eyebrows are not on fleek. I need to get them waxed, but I can't right now, can I? All right, drawing, just finding some lines to outline. And you guys, this isn't necessarily about you know, saying, oh, well, I can't draw, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, you can. All you're doing is following some lines. Don't be afraid. If you make a mistake and you don't want that, then hello, undo. You can do that. That's the greatest thing about digital. Don't be afraid. Now, I just have to decide how much of this I want to add in here. So for this demo purposes, I'm just going to keep it very simple. Okay. Maybe I'm going to add a line for my neck. All right. Now, here's the reason we're doing this in Photoshop. Could you have done all this in Photoshop fix? Absolutely. But could you then move the layer so that you can move your lines? So like when Pablo Picasso did those... Um, line, uh, sorry, light drawings, this sort of is giving that effect that it's this other thing that we've added in. It's a separate layer. So now I can move that around. I can also, because it's its own layer, I can click here. Sorry. I can click this button here and I can transform the size of it. Okay. If I wanted to make it bigger or smaller besides just moving it, I can also resize that. When you like what you have, you'd hit done. And that is how you do a simple line drawing.